Hello there, my name's Randall. Um, my track Shadow Cliff from Sony Scotland was in the autumn of 2003. I spent just a little over four weeks in the company of Bob and Judith, but the memories and experience remain fresh and vivid today. I have memories of the peaceful sounds of happy birds by day and the absolute silence at night around the campfire. The main property, Rimple Lodge, could be summarised as warm and inviting with highlights of various wood forest smells, and mixed with the sweet aroma of caramel-flavoured coffee, along with massive waffles. I still remember the joint ethos of work hard, play hard. This is a mantra I strive to use uh, still today. Work aside, the main attraction in Shadow Cliff was the immediate access to the North Inlet Trail. Whilst alone, trekking, I was fortunate to be able to duck behind a tree to observe a massive mummy bear and dozy cub out for an afternoon stroll. Group trips involved Bob with his white gloves and short, short shorts, together with trail mix and prairie dogs dancing. The atmosphere of Shadow Cliff is simply magical and well worth the journey up from Denver. I'm hoping within the next year to return with my extended family, Team Lean. Hi, my name's Morvin and I came to work in Shadow Cliff um, in the summer of 2015 after visiting around 10 years before that um, when I tried my first ever s'more. So I remember the complete silence waking up at 5am to help the chef prepare luxury breakfasts of quinoa porridge, waffles and fancy fruit salads for guests. And whichever chore you were on, you were always doing it with one of the other great volunteers and you always had an amazing post-chore adventure planned for afterwards. Um, walking the loop was one of my all-time favourites when you had the time, but also day trips to Shadow Mountain or runs to Cascade Falls were also beautiful and full of animals. I've never seen so many marmots, not to mention the moose and occasionally bears. We also had a lot of fun in Grand Lake and I'll never forget the endless games of naming a hat uh, with the other volunteers. Towards the end of my stay at Shadowcliff I had a Skype interview in the chapel where I was um, offered my first ever graduate job and it was probably a good thing that it was coming towards the end of the season because I was having such a nice time at Shadowcliff I really nearly turned that job down. I'm really looking forward to coming back to Shadowcliff in the future. Um, it'll always be a really beautiful and special place to all of us leans. Thank you.